This topic is going to haunt you. This advice is extremely difficult to apply, and I understand that. And your brain is continuously going to wriggle back to knowledge. It's continuously going to wriggle back to finishing because you're a perfectionist. And for a perfectionist, you are only done when you are finished. And if you are not finished, you don't let go. You can't let go. If you struggle to do this when you are practicing questions, you will struggle to do this in exams. I have had thousands of students, I have had hundreds of students say to me, don't worry Yvonne, on the day of the exam, I will have discipline when it comes to time. And when my time for a question is up, I will move on. And I go, yes, I'm sure you will. And after the exam, they come back and they go, well, of the four questions of the exam, I only got to two and a half of them. I never got to question three and four because um, I ran out of time. Well, how did you run out of time? No, well, I went over time on question one and two. So you didn't stick to the time allocation. No, 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 I just couldn't. I just, I just, I couldn't. If you struggle to do this while you're studying, you are going to struggle to do it on the day of the exam. If you do not build up a discipline of moving on, if you do not build up a discipline of moving on once your time allocation for a question is up, it's going to be very difficult for you to do on the day of the exam when it counts the most. If your time is up, and you have knowledge left, it is just way too tempting to quickly squeeze that knowledge in and sacrifice what's coming next. Uh, I'll start the next question later, but I, I can't leave this if I still have something to say. <laughs> it's, for a perfectionist, it's just not going to happen. It's got to be something that you practice because it's going to rip you apart. And if it is such a big thing when you're studying, then only imagine how much of a big thing it's going to be on the day of the exam.